Are you using Google Gemini for the right purpose? I don't know. You can only answer that question, but I'm going to help you by giving you a prompt in the comments section that you're going to have to copy and paste next time you use Gemini. Here's the prompt. I'm going to ask, tell me the things that you're good at and tell me the things that you're not good at. Okay. Hit enter. Wait for the answer. Let's see what it says. All right, so I'm gonna go to the cons. Real world knowledge and reasoning. I don't have direct experience with physical world, obviously. Understand the intent and context. I can struggle to understand uh, conversations, like sarcasm. A lot of the AI products have the same issue. Uh, bias and fairness. Well, Google's been in the news recently for their uh, issues with bias, so we're gonna leave that one alone. Uh, independent thought and creativity. While I can generate creative text, I can't develop truly original ideas or concepts of my own. I get it. But what it's not telling me is I can't help you with real time stuff. I can't read emails or sorry, I can't read websites because Gemini is one of the best free AIs that you can use for current stuff. Ask advice on trends. Ask what happened the first two weeks of the month. Ask for predictions on based on the last three months. Gemini can interpret that and give you some real good advice that you can build your content from. But one of the most used AI platforms out there that everybody uses is outdated. Can't do that kind of stuff. I cover this in another video. Go check out the other videos in my series. But uh, if you're using ChatGPT for advice, you might be leaving money on the table. Go check it out.